Alicia Robles and this is Cross Therapy, my floss tube number three. I call it Cross Therapy because Cross Stitch is part of my therapy in life. I love it. It makes me calm. It makes me happy. It makes me feel creative. I'm always thinking about what I'm going to cross stitch and what can I finish and what can I continue. And I just enjoy cross stitch uh, most of the time. Sometimes I get big projects like we all have we all love to do right we love these huge projects but uh i consider it uh that they're like my my old friends you know and i can get to get to play with them get to do them you know uh whatever i feel like it so uh, i love cross stitch and it, it is very helpful and it is very healing for me right now in my life and it's been like that for many many years uh, i love this community the floss tube community and again today i want to say thank you for all the people that make uh did uh share with you uh with me you know your your thoughts your feelings and the beautiful comments that you put in in my last two videos i still receive messages from my first one and i'm very very thankful and happy that you that you're sharing this uh feelings and thoughts with me. I like to put, you know, that I'm going to be sharing about my weaves and about my projects, you know, uh, in progress and, and about my finishes and all those things. But I usually use a word and I call it the theme, you know, my theme uh, this week is gratitude or uh, being grateful. And so I, I have this word sort of like, um, like a give me something to talk about because I feel like sometimes I get nervous. I don't know what to say or, you know, what to talk about. So having a word uh, sort of like helps me, you know, helps me to, to be more focused in what I'm doing. I was uh, touching the, the candle. So I don't know if I got some, some, yes, it's right here. All right, anyway, so let's start with finishes. I have one finish and it's my beautiful little witch. And this is the Kitchen Witch. And it's by the Laurel Witch. I will put her name. You can find her in Instagram. She does have a website. She's an artist and she has paintings. And I think she makes dolls beautiful dolls too and she makes the the crest ch charts as well i have other others that i want to do too they're all beautiful and they're very different they're unique there's something about them that makes me look at them twice and say you know i want to do this and i did change a lot of things you know she said you know use the whatever color of the skirt use whatever you want for the skirt, this is a Misuseras uh, popcorn floss. And uh, as you can see, there's a lot of shades of colors there. It's so much fun. It was so much fun. And the black is Misuseras uh, black, or I think a little black or something like that. But you can find Misuseras in, in Etsy. Okay? And that was my finish. Uh, now I'm going to share with you my weeps. And remember that today, later on, we're going to do the giveaway for last week. And we have giveaways this week too. So it's so much fun, right? So let's go with the weeps. I've been working in October on the Halloween or, or fall, you know. And uh, today I'm going to share my plans about November. Okay. So we have four... Um, for this week, uh, this month I've been working on Halloween at Harum Hollow, as everybody else, and I love to see everything that everybody shares. And so this, this chart, um, like I said before, I was already doing some, but I have to change the fabric. And I really, really loving the fabric. This is my floss and I'm doing the DMC. Okay, the DMC. And what I did is I just went to Office Depot and I told them, because this is a big, a big project and it has 
lots of colors. And so I asked them if they can make like business cards like the ones that are sharing people now. But I'm not gonna share this one because I, I don't think you're supposed to be sharing, you know, like charts or or a specific, you know, designs or something. I, I don't know, somebody make that comment. I'm not sure about it. But I'm, these ones, I'm just making them for my project, which there were many pluses. So this is just a DMC, which I love the DMC. And uh, my, not a lot of progress. But it did, I did have some, I did have some time to work on it. And I finished the bottom. I finished all of this and I'm starting the house and then I'll do the top. So I want to finish this. Um, I'm going to be working with this still uh, throughout the, the, the end of this year and next year and the following because we're going to have the, the 13th, right? Dark 13th style. So then I'll be, I'll picking up, I will be picking up my Halloween charts. So that was one of them. The second one that I want to share with you is, uh, the one that I really, really like too. I love them all. They're all my favorites. And this one is Witches in the Air by, mm, not, not forgetting, Farm. And it's amazing. I love it. I love it. And this is my progress. I really like it. I'm using the Mississippi's black uh, silk thread, the black. It has a really good coverage and I just, it's lovely to work with it. It's really fun. This, both of these, both of these fabric are, are 40 count um, fabric and um, let me see. This one, okay, yes. And uh, this one I did share it last week. And this one I think is, uh, what is it? What is it, what is it? Oh, okay, yes. This one is Peddler Blend, Peddler's Blend. And I did, I did get this uh, fabric in Shakespeare's Peddler. I will put the name right here. And she has wonderful, amazing fabric. So this is what I was doing. And another one that I was working on. Now these are the colors for the, for the set. I was doing also the Dark October song. And this is this one, the Haunted House Sampler. A lot of people are doing it. And I love seeing all the progress and the sound and the Dark October song. So this is an amazing chart. I'm using the same fabric and this is my progress. And I finished the border and I'm starting with the letters. I did have a lot of boo-boos <laughs> and over here in the, in the threads and the leaves. So I had to go back and fix them because that's the border you want to do it right. <laughs> but, but I'm having a lot of fun. Especially see, because when you see these colors together, it's like, I just don't see it. But then once you see it in the fabric, I, I don't know, I like it. I really, really like it. So these are my whips for Halloween. Okay, so and that was my finish and that was, those were my whips that I've been working with. Also, I've been working in my stockings. Okay, so my Christmas stocking I've been working. And this week I've, I've been working with, just a minute. I'm doing another another stocking for my sister's grandson. Uh, his name is Sander, and he's a wonderful young boy. He is the same age as my grandson, Charlie, their cousins. And so this is the chart that I'm following for Sander. And for this chart, okay, so I was doing my other stockings, and I had a lot of leftover a thread floss and the thread you know is, is very thick so I decided that my last two stockings I'm going to use whatever I have left over because it's a lot of leftover floss and a lot of the colors they're the same you know like the cream and the black and the 
browns and the grays, they're sort of the same color. So I keep buying the same ones and I thought for these ones, these last two that I'm going to do, well, I'm not going to do that. I'm just going to use what I have and it's been working good. So this is Sandra and I finished the first part of the chart. So now I need to do the booty. <laughs> Did I say that right? The last part of the boot. <laughs> Sorry about that. Okay, so there we go right there. So those are my my whips that I've been working with. And now we're going to go with the November plans or the things that I'm already working with that I want to work or I want to start in November. So in November, I want to continue with some of my projects that I have. Now, this one I already shared with you. And so I will continue to work with this. I haven't touched it, so. Uh, but I will be continuing with this in November. I will be working with that one. And I'm gonna be working with this one also. This one I have not shown you. And it's one of my favorites. <laughs> as I always say. So this one is Autumn uh, How Wrong Hollow. And I'm gonna do it a little different. Instead of this way, I'm gonna do it like this, like the other charts, you know, like the Halloween chart that it goes like that. I sort of like it like that better. I don't know. I don't, I'm not gonna do this little thingy. I may use the the pumpkins you know, the, the, the stitching part that is inside, I may create a square for that, but I'm not going to do this thing. And it, because it's not going to be like this, it's going to be this way. And I'll probably do three or four rows. So this is my beginning. And I'm making, um, stitching this and, and the fabric is humongous. And it, this one is Fall Bliss, and it's a 40 count new costume. Okay, and it's a beautiful fab, a fabric. And I think, I think it's looking pretty good. I was worried about the orange and the red, but I like it. I like it. I like my experiment. So this, this is one of the things that I'm going to be working in November. Okay. And then this is, oh, okay. Now the floss. I, I am using the, um, the MPIs. Okay. For this one. And I did this too. The, the office, uh, the, the little cards. And this, I'm using the silk and it's just, you know, it's just so much fun to use this silk too. It's wonderful. And I also have one of these from Sucks for Mom. I will put it right there, the name and this charm. And I have different charm. I have different charms for, for the thread and they're beautiful. Let me see. You see that? It's beautiful. So anyway, like for these projects, like I was saying, if I have a big project, I like to get a bag, I like to get the charm, I like to, you know, print, especially if there's a lot of colors, the fabric that I love, the thread that I love, everything that I like, because uh, this is a project that is gonna be with me for a long time. So it's like an old friend. So I wanna, I, I wanna have everything that I like and, and just enjoy it, you know, because I know it's going to take a while to do it, but I'm going to be working with it in, in the fall, um, in November, I'm sorry. Another chart that I really, really like and by, is by Autumn Lane Stitcher. And this, this one, I really like it, really like it. And this one, um, this is a, I want to say this is a 40 count, but I don't remember the the fabric or the count. I do not remember. I remember that it seemed like it was a small, but then once I started the chart, it seems that it's going to fit. So it's just the beginning. And the flosses are very interesting. So you have a combination of DNCs, Gloriana silks, Look at this. This, this, I did not find the right 
Gloriana. So I buy some tutors. And look at this color. Look at this color. Beautiful. And then some DNCs and some wig dye works. Look at this yellow. Isn't it fun? But you know, I can see them. I can see the colors here. It's an amazing chart. I love it. And so mm, this is another one that I'm going to be working in November. And it's not showing, but it's more green. It's more green than it's what it's showing in the big, in the video. In the, you know, I'm using my phone. I don't know. But yeah, right there. See, it has a lot, of, a lot more green on it. But if I put it closer, it looks more brown. I don't know. I don't know why it's doing that. But it has more, more green on it. That's what I was hoping. It's not as green as it needs to be, but I think it's going to be okay. It has a lot of modeling, green modeling that I really, really like. Another one that I'm going to be working, and this is the MC. And I got this at Hobby Lobby. And I just put some um, fall stickers, and that was fun. And this one is for the British Color Harvest Time. Beautiful charts. So I'm doing this uh, this one. I'm doing a turkey. So this year for Thanksgiving, I'm going to be working in, in turkeys. And I have another one that I want to start. So I'm going to be doing this, but I really want to do this one too. Somebody showed this and they were doing this one and it looked amazing. Look at those colors. But right now, I really like this one. I don't know if I'm going to do the base. I'm not sure about the base or is something that this thing in here. Right, I, I don't know about that, but I do love the leaves and the turkey. So my thing for this Thanksgiving is our turkey. So okay, so I'm gonna be working with that one. And this fabric, I think it's like 32. And look at this, I'm doing it two, because all of the other ones that are 40, I'm doing one over two. And this one is two over two. And really, really, really like it, also. So not all, like I was talking to my friend a while ago, not all charts look good in 40. Not that they look bad, but like this one I wanted in my kitchen, right? So I think that the 32 or 36 or, or 30 or 28 or, you know, it's going to look great because you want it big. You don't want people to see what is that. You want people, oh, look at that turkey. So I want to put this in my kitchen. I don't know if I'm going to finish it by Thanksgiving, but one of these Thanksgivings is going to be there, right there in my kitchen for Thanksgiving. I really, really love the coverage. And those colors are amazing. And that's just DMC. It's beautiful. DMC is beautiful. There we go. So then we have, oh, and my plans for November is to do this little turkey by my beautiful lady, Lindy Stitches. And this is Struding Tom. Look at this, this is so cute. And this is the floss and it's the DMC. This is all I have. So I think I'm going to get like, a, you know, some leftover fabric or something uh, from, the this the fabric that I already have to do that and um, I don't know I may find some of these whatever I go to my store you know soon enough okay we're back so for November we're also going to be that doing the sound for black sampler um, the sound so I'm gonna be working in a few of these charts that I didn't have ready to share but I will but anyway so this is one of them, and I haven't started this one. Well, I started, but I'm gonna change the colors uh, because I saw somebody was doing this, which is the, the Pilgrim, but she was doing it on green colors. So I, I'll order some floss, so I'll be sharing with you that in a few weeks the color and the fabric that I'm going to be using for this. So this is something that I already had and I love it. And so I'm going to be start restarting this for November for the black sample. Another one that 
I'm already doing with the black up is this one and it's one of my favorites <laughs> life after death It's just showing a lot out. Okay, right here. Life after death. And this one I was doing it at nighttime. It's very relaxing when you only have one one color, and when you can just go on and on and on and on, right? And I have, like I said, I started working with this, and and Mrs. Sudas, Mrs. Mrs. Sedas. Uh, silk uh, and this is how far I am. I forgot about this that I was working with this and this is how far I am. Mm. I think this is yes this is the very beginning. And the fabric that I'm using so I'm using the Miso Sedas uh, black, the black color, and the fabric is Montaigne Air, Air. It's a 40 count Newcastle also. It's linen. And it's beautiful. It's beautiful. I do wanna do other projects with this fabric as well as uh, other ones that I just buy them very big, but since I'm not sure yet, you know, how far, and I'm afraid I get worried, you know, how, you know, what about if he doesn't feed in there or whatever. So I never cut it till, I, till I'm pretty sure that it's going to be okay. And I don't know why I did this, you know, I should have started right here or something, but anyway, it's, it's okay. So this is another one. And my last one, this one is not quite a sampler, but to me it's just, I don't know, I like it too. So I'm gonna be doing this is by Felica 9 by Courtney Collection. Isn't this amazing? Look at that. So it's Pelican number nine by Kearney Collections. And I'm doing this again with the with the black. Miso Seda's black. And it's number 20. But I think it's a little black or something like that. And so this is the I'm doing most of them that I'm doing black. And I just started this because I just got this, but then, like I said, I fall in love with it. And I just have a little beginning, little beginning right there. The fabric, it, I think it's gonna go very well with it, is, uh, is Edinburgh, 36 count, 36 count Edinburgh sand. So this is sand. So it has a little, very nice, you know, there we go. Very good. I love this fabric. So that's what I'm doing uh, for the black sampler for uh, November. I think it's kind of, it's called like that, but like I said, I'll put the right name of the set right here. And so now we go to the giveaway. Okay, to the giveaways. So before I go to the theme, I would like to do the giveaway. And the giveaway we have, we have, okay, so let me, let me check the computer because I have it right here, all right? And I don't wanna say the name wrong or anything like that. But okay, so remember the last, uh, Two weeks ago, I announced that we have a $25 um, giveaway card uh, or gift card for uh, for modern folk embroidery. I contacted Jacob and he said he, he doesn't have gift cards, 
but he does have like a password uh, giveaway, you know? And so he made that specifically and he was really kind and I felt really bad because, you know, sometimes you assume that's the bad part of assuming, you know, that everybody has gift cards. So he said, no, I don't do gift cards, but if somebody wants to do a giveaway, you know, I'll give them a special number and we, I work it out. So he did work it out for us. So I'm so sorry and I'm so thankful, Jacob. I love you very much. We all love you in this community. And I'm very, very thankful for, for being so kind, you know? So anyway, um, I did already the, you know, the, this, the pick random, uh, you know, the one that you put, you, you know, the, all the comments. So the word, it was thankful and the special person that got the giveaway is Cassandra Casto. And she made the comment, I'm so thankful for so many things, my dear husband and sweet children and grandchildren and my sisters. Especially right now, I'm thankful for my daughter because she shared the love of Cross's stitching. How wonderful is that? Well, congratulations. Send me an email. This is my email. I'm going to put it right here. Send me an email and I will give you the information so you can buy some charts and the wonderful website of modern uh, folk embroidery. I'm very happy. I'm very happy. And the the giveaway for this week, since I'm working in, this, in the stockings and everybody was, I had some people commenting that they really, really like the, the they really, really like the stockings and, and how wonderful it was and everything. So I decided that I was gonna give away some stocking charts. So now we have, if you're interested on in, in doing some Shepherd Butch, I have the charts. So you will have to go to your LNS, go to your store and say, you know, uh, I don't know. I tried to do them as traditional as before, right? But you don't have to, right? You don't have to um, do them like that. You can do them however you like. So with this chart, it's going to give you what you need. You have to, if you like charms, you can buy some charms or you can ask for the specific charms of the chart. So we have three charts, okay? And it's just gonna be for one person. Uh, or should I do three? Mm, 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 mm. Let's do three, okay? Let's do three charts. That way we have more opportunities to give it to different people, right? So we have Richard, and if you like this stocking uh, shepherd boot shard, uh, say Richard. Okay, I would like the stocking for Richard. I will be looking for the word Richard, like this, right here, right there. Okay, and another, this is for a boy, and he has a Santa. I did like the Santas. This is another one, and this is Jeffrey. So if you like this chart, look how big they are. That's how I wanted them. If you like, you write the name Jeffrey. I would like to stitch Jeffrey Stocking. But I will be just looking for the name. What do you think? Hmm? Give me the name. And then if you have a girl, a grandkid, or a daughter, well, there's one for a girl. This is Sadie. So that's the name. Right here, Sadie. So just write the name Sadie. And I will send the chart. Now, right now, uh, this, wherever I do this, um, this uh, giveaways, I'm just saying by everybody, I don't know how much the chart, I never sent them before, but you know, we'll just see, right? So, Everybody can participate, of course. I would like it if you like and subscribe to subscribe to this channel, but you can just write the name and the name of the stocking you want and you'll get another question that you're gonna answer is about the stockings, right? Have you ever had a stocking? Did you like stockings? I person I personally did not have a stocking. When I was little, that was not something that people do in Mexico. Well, I guess they do, but not in my family, you know. 
uh, we didn't do that. For, and my mother used to uh, do uh, a lot of needlepoint, but it was more about kitchen things, you know, like kitchen towels and, you know, things for the kitchen and in a few frames, you know, like flowers or things like that. But, uh, but I, I really, really love stocking. So this is the year since I wasn't working that I decided to do stockings for my grandkids and said, so this is a very easy stitching if you buy it as big as it is, because the squares are big and the thread is big and it just go really fast. So uh, I decided then to do my, my sister's grandkid and you know, anyway, so that was, that was um, my my experience. It's been wonderful with this. Um, now I'm not a finisher for them because, like I said, I can do a little square, a little pillow here and there. But uh, I I have a friend that is helping me, and also uh, the store that I go, which is Dean's uh, man's wife uh, here in in Texas. In Texas, uh, they do that. I will put the name of the store. The lady is amazing and they do a wonderful uh, job and they're going to be finishing some. And then my friend, she's going to be finishing some too. So I'm very happy and grateful that they're doing that for me and um, I'll be doing more. For, for me and my husband and my son, but next year, I'm going to have to finish two more, the one I'm working right now and another one too, but they're different charts. These charts... I already used them, so you will be getting used charts. But I didn't write or anything on them, so there we go. That's the giveaway. So now we go with a the theme, which is gratitude, being thankful. And, you know, I think in the last couple of years, it's not about, you know, because before I remember, you know, they had books and people say, you know, let's be thankful. And I try to be positive and always find things to be thankful for. But I think now in the way that we're living and all the things that are happening in the world and in our lives, you know, I think it's important to make a point during the day. You know, or they say that it's better to do it at night to find those things that you're thankful for. Right, and so that's our thing to be thankful for. And one of the things that I was going to start this October in my birthday was going to be this chart that I wanted to be doing it with my mom for my mom. So it was sort of like a remembering piece. And but then, so my friend, uh, Debbie from uh, the YouTube, the science teacher. Um, I'll put the name over here in case I said it wrong. But anyway, so she said, well, it's, uh, I'll do the sound with you. So I say, I think there's already a sound. But then what we, what we thought about was to, I thought about it and I was telling her, you know what? I'm not going to do it for my birthday. I'm going to wait. And I want to do something like a sound for this, uh, but but not specifically for this charm, but more the meaning of uh, stitching something for somebody that you love and you miss. That's my doggy. That's my baby dog. We just got a baby dog. Anyway, her name is Carlota. I'll put a picture. So anyway, so I got this charm. I talk about it in my first video. I forgot to talk about it in my second video. There we go. And I got the floss. I got the kit from, I think it was traditional stitchers. So I got the fabric and, and the floss. I didn't get the silk. I got the, the just the, the fancy floss. <laughs> so anyway, I decided that I was going to start this in November, November the 1st, and I'm going to make a salve. So my friend Deb and also my friend, what is, um, my friend, my friend, let me see. I'll put her name in here. Well, we're a few. We are a few friends that we're going to do the sound. And we're going to do the sound and it's going to call Remember Me Sound. So if you have, it doesn't matter what project you have. The meaning of this sound is to, that you're stitching a project to remember someone that you love. I'm doing as a part of my healing process and the loss of my mom. 
my mother passed last year and for me it's very 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 hard and we're struggling you know i'm struggling so in a way to process and heal and, and you know remember her and celebrate in her i'm stitching some things that she loves she loves flowers she loves birds and so, so those are the things so i have other charts that i'm going to be doing also and i was talking about this chart also i don't know if it was in my first or my or my second video so I have this chart, and this is going to be for my for my mother also. And then I have this chart, and this is going to be for my mother and these two. I'm doing another one for my father, but I will show you that one next week. And I'm doing another one for my grandparents. That's the one that are that I've been that I'm also. Let me see where it is. Uh, I'm doing that one for my grand for my grandmother and my grandfather because they had a huge family. I got a mess in here, so now I'm gonna have to clean up. Let me find the chart. Is the autumn this one yes autumn and lazy by monday so i'm doing this for my my grandmother and my grandfather because they get a huge family so um very loved by everybody so so anyway this saw uh, can last forever because we have a lot of people they already left us and we miss them and we want to celebrate them and remember them and process their loss in a way. So I am grateful that I have all these jars, that I have all these fabric, that I have all these things that I can work on that are going to help me remember, that they're going to help me celebrate their lives and make it meaningful in my life. And some of them can be gifts. Like I was thinking that, like I was saying that I may do some pillows for my sisters in the back putting the fabric of my mother's dress because I saw somebody did that before and, and that was a great idea, very meaningful. So I'm gonna be sharing more charts. So most of these, I haven't started them. But anyway, this sal is going to be Remember Me Sal and it can be any chart you want to. The important thing is that you're remembering someone. You're dedicating this time to stage this project for that person because you miss them because you love them because you're grateful that they were in your life because they teach you because you know they they mean something to you so i mean a lot of people are already doing that but i thought what a perfect song and like i said it may last forever <laughs> because you know we're always remembering someone but you know it's been more important for me to work and process with these feelings that I had since my mother passed. Because she was a very important person in my life. Um, you know, I'm doing another one for my my father, like I was saying, I'll show it to you next time. And, um, you know, with that, I'm gonna finish the video. Remember, remember that um, you can, we're gonna start this out in November. November the 1st, we start with Remember Me Sa. I'm gonna put it right here, and I'm sorry, uh, my mind has been a little bit out of it, but it's just so much to share. And I don't wanna do it every week because I feel like I'm not gonna have enough project. So two weeks is imperfect for me, it seems perfect for me to be sharing, you know, my projects, my ideas, and the things that I'm working with. Please share with me, um, I have about a stockings and please tell me which stocking you will like and thank you again for subscribing for your comments i love you i love this community and i'm so grateful okay remember always breathe in breathe out and make another cross